our next round is called Picture of the Week. I show the panel a topical <coughs> image and ask them to tell me what's happening. So, teams, what's going on here? <laughs> That's Matt Hancock showing us how many times he's told the truth. <laughs> <laughs> is he just going... Hey guys, a lot of rumours have been circulating the last couple of days, so I'm just doing this video to speak my truth. <laughs> <laughs> Is he saying, check my inbox again? Are you sure there's not a wedding invite from Boris? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is he just trying to hack Boris's laptop and going, try Big Balls Boris 69? <laughs> oh my god, it worked! Yeah. <laughs> my hack's going. Uh, uh, my, this, my nephew showed me this. Apparently, <laughs> if you type in Matt Hancock is a, and then see what. Oh dear, that's. <laughs> <laughs> so going, uh, if you enjoy my work, you can subscribe to my OnlyFans. I even take the mask off. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's recording a message that's going to be played to Dominic Cummings before <laughs> Dominic's lowered into a tank full of hungry sharks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Isn't that> a... <laughs> This is Minister of Health, Matt Hancock, who this week has come under pressure over his handling of the COVID crisis in the early stages of the pandemic. Following testimony given by the Prime Minister's former Chief Advisor, Dominic Cummings. Did we all watch the full oh. seven-hour no. super edit of Dominic Cummings? If I wanted to watch seven hours of a man moaning incoherently, I'd just ask my uncle what he thinks of Greta Thunberg. <laughs> <laughs> There he is. He's, I tell you where he's not on his way to is Boris's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> he's clearly giving chase to the man who just stole his cufflinks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was also interesting was the fact that the, the, the sort of reaction by left-wing people, essentially, to Dominic Cummings, who we've all slagged off Dominic Cummings to high heaven for being a liar and a charlatan, and now that he's slagging off Boris Johnson, he's like, ooh, uh -huh. it has a ring of truth to it. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that one evening when the Daily Mail became the paper of record because it printed a story about David Cameron putting his todger in a dead pig's head. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the Daily Mail was the truth I do, do, we, do we believe what he said about, you know, how he uh, retold the story about his trip to Barnard Castle? Mm -hmm. That doesn't ring true, does oh, it? There were threats. There mission. were threats. I can't tell you about them now. <laughs> but there were threats. Shh, I can't say anything anymore. <laughs> but the information I gave you was incorrect because other things were happening as well yeah. that I also can't tell you about. Shh, I can't, that's all I'm saying. Oh, I'm in danger even here. Even talking about it now, I'm in danger. <laughs> I've never been the victim of a security risk, but I'm pretty sure that if I was, I, w I mean, he went to, like, a well-loved beauty spot. That's not what you do if your family's at risk. You don't go, oh, there's been a security <laughs> risk. People are threatening to murder us, so get in the car, we're going to Walton Towers. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, certainly, you certainly don't go to Salisbury Cathedral, for example, because that's, that's, that, that's where they go. <laughs> that, that's exactly where these kind of people go to. They love going there. <laughs> I didn't think this would be the battle that we were looking forward to this summer. I thought we were going to see Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. Instead, it's <laughs> Matt Hancock and Dominic Cummings. It's like male pattern baldness versus erectile dysfunction. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, those two things, those two things can coexist very peacefully. <laughs> <laughs>